So it was advertised in the flyer that this group ride it recommended to have a 45 mile per hour bike plus for this group ride. And this is the reason why right here. What happened? We lost them. All right guys, so we just got to E Street Bikes in Freehold for the grand opening. But what sucked is it started downpouring. So my bike got a nice shower on the way over. I just dried everything off as best as I could real quick. So I hope everything's okay. We'll see, hopefully it's a nice ride. Let's check out the shop. E Street Bikes, grand opening. Sal, congrats. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Congrats on opening up. How are you feeling? Thanks for coming. No, no problem. Nah. No, You're good? I'm feeling good. Nice. Yeah. Is this awesome. behind the scenes? What's up? How are you? Yeah. Oh, man. I know, right? You should try out the, uh, the RX style. Okay. Like, for real, it, it's got a shit ton of torque. Yeah, like, you know, you'd be impressed by it for a stock e-bike. All right, so we are at East Street Bikes and we're gonna test ride some bikes. This is a, uh, what is this, the Tempest it says? Let's see how it feels. Okay, they're a little high. Let's see. Yeah, they got, they got some low end torque. That low end torque, man. Oh gosh. Very torquey low end. 1500 watt nominal motor. Uh, looks like a 15, 52 volt, 15 amp hour battery. Oh yeah, that screen is not working. There's an error message. So I don't know how fast it's gonna go. decent speed. I just wish I knew how fast I was going. That low end torque is no no joke. You feel like you're getting it walked off. Suspension feels nice. For under three grand, 2800. Not bad. It's already, oh, it's already five K watts. Oh That's all I need. That's Let's a, see. Yeah, shock though. Yeah, the, the suspension feels nice. This is beefy. I, lo I love the train. The train is nice. Okay, now we got some yeah, speed. And they're light. Lightweight. That low end feels nice. Like, I feel like a bike like this, the low end is important, like, for city traffic. It probably doesn't have the highest top end, but that's really all you need. That's a 36 on this one. This one seems hot taller. Oh yeah, this one's tall. I don't know how I'm gonna feel on this one. Oh. This one's too tall for me. Both tippy toes. Ooh, that's got some torque. These are very torquey bikes. This one's tall. I feel very tall riding this one. So they 
both look like they get about the same top speed, around 35, 36. But this one I feel awkward on. It's a little too tall for me. I feel so high off the ground. That low end torque though, you gotta be careful. Suspension feels nice on this one too. Very nice suspension on these bikes. Very plush seat too. Very nice. 2300. Street Swiper. Nice. Alright guys, so we are at East Street Bikes right now. And we're about to start the group ride. I feel left out. Everyone's riding a custom East Street bike. And I got my Onyx City. All these bikes can fly, man. I feel left out. I don't have an E Street bike. I know, right? Yeah, could I get a sticker? This is Sal's bike. I don't even know what's in this beast, but I need to interview him later. I like that he's got pegs and pedals. So this is going to be a high speed group ride we're gonna be testing out the range on this bike high speed range everyone has fast bikes here so hopefully i could keep up here we go This is going to be a legit range test. This group ride, we're starting out in Freehold, New Jersey and driving all the way down to the shore to Asbury Park. I'm not sure how long it is each way, but it's roughly 38 miles uh, there and back around that. So. And from like what it looks like, it's going to be a pretty high speed ride. There's only five riders and everyone has high speed bikes. We lost them already. They didn't make the light. They stopped at the light. Yeah, back there. What town is this? It's a nice little town. It's gonna be on the whole ride. He's going left the whole ride. Huh? Are you going left? Oh, straight. He said your blinker's on. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> Don't pay attention to that. <laughs> Okay, so maybe it's not high speed the whole time. Oh man, kids here, you don't want to go too fast. So this is the Henry Hudson Trail. Oh, we got some deer. Deer crossing. This guy's like, I don't give a F. <laughs> An interesting trail. Oh, he's going off road. The cell shop is not too far away from my house, but once I started driving, it started downpouring, and my bike on the rack was just getting soaked. It sucked. the shock's bottom out there. I saw you there. Oh, right? That was like a jump. Right. Yeah, did anybody else catch the air off of that? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That was nice. This is actually a pretty cool trail. 
just as long as there's no uh, pedestrians. And we can open it up. This is nice, kind of a nice scenic, scenic trail. Now which way is it? We're lost. Up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he seemed. Like yeah, this is crazy. You could get lost out here. So this is definitely a different group ride from what we're used to. This is going to be more open roads. Here we go. Okay, we're pinning it. I'm at 66 volts and then when I pull, pull send it, it goes down to 61. Voltage said. So we've got some traffic behind us, but I guess if we ride together, we're all good. 50 mile per hour road. I could barely hit that. It's on full, full sending it. So it was advertised in the flyer that this group ride, it recommended to have a 45 mile per hour bike plus for this group ride. And this is the reason why right here. So I think that's intimidating for a lot of the stock bikes or the non-modified bikes. And it's, uh, it's a little bit smaller of a turnout for this ride. I got 75% battery left. That's fine. We're gonna make it? Yeah, we got plenty of battery. Oh shit. What's going on? You got to turn? What was that? Was that? Were we supposed to turn there? That was the quickest turn off. Okay, we're going on someone's property. All right, we're going back on the trail. Oh, what was that? An eagle? I think. Dang. It's going off-roading. I ended up buying this uh, Beyond Riders protective shirt. The Summer Mesh. But the Summer Mesh, it's, it's pretty breathable. Which is nice. You get a lot of airflow through it. So, it's uh, it's hot out, but it's not like super uncomfortable. Like I'm getting a lot of air using this, so it's not too bad. I uh, ended up buying the Beyond Riders protective mesh just because um, I don't know. Uh, with all the crashes lately, I've been a little bit more tentative riding at, at speeds or um, more. What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. I'm just a little bit more nervous or worried when I ride at speed. So wearing a protective gear, protective armor. It gives me a little bit more confidence that, you know, if I do unfortunately crash, I'll have some sort of protection for my body versus just wearing a helmet. So, I, anytime that I know that I'm going to be riding a, like a fast ride, faster ride, I uh, wear more gear now. Very scenic ride. It's pretty enjoyable. Sorry, I just had to do that. <laughs> that looked like so much fun going over that whoop de doo. Well, are we checking out Jeff's butt? No, the deers. <laughs> Alright, so this is the full group. 
one, two, three, four, five. One electric motorcycle, but basically all the bikes up there are electric motorcycles with the speeds that they're hitting. Uh-oh, somebody lost something. What was that? <laughs> yeah, something bounced off his bike. That was uh, my Insta360 cover. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. I'm kind of too lazy to go after. <laughs> Not mine. Oh, you got it? No, no, this is mine. Oh, no, 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 I saw something bounce. Oh, what is that? Damn. Damn, what is that? This is going to Route 18. I hope we're not going that way. Garden State Parkway, Route 18, or 36. What road can we take on e-bikes? We're missing people. What happened? We lost them. I know. Sal, Sal's dad and uh, Sal and my mom. All right, so here's the deal. We're 10 miles away from Asbury Park, and it looks like Sal is having issues with his bike. He can't get his throttle to work. So I think we're probably just going to start heading back to the shop. Most of us are probably going to need a charge anyways when we got to Asbury. So we might just call it early and start heading back. I have no idea where we are. But look, the skies are clear now. What happened to all that rain? Hit the thumbs up button, it really helps out the channel. So we'll catch you on the next ride. Alright guys, right on.